Today we've got a special treat, it's a whole Hyundai Kia battle of EVs on the road of France. Who is gonna get to their destination first? Does it make a difference to have better charging speed or better efficiency maybe? We need to check this out. Now, let's introduce the players. Player 1 is Trifusion. He's got a Nyanic 5, he charges incredibly fast, but he also has kids in the back. So we've got a special video coming out on his experience going to Provence and back. So let's stay tuned for now. Let's see how he fares against the other cars. Player 2 is your humble servant, 3 adults in the car, decent efficiency, decent charging speeds, good condition and it's gonna be late tonight so we are gonna hammer it down on the motorway. Player 3 is still your EV dabbler but back in 2023 on a thousand kilometer challenge with the Ionic 28, the classic. Now that video you can watch already on this channel, but today the conditions are pretty bad and we are trying to do the best we can. There will be a lot of bunny hops, but the efficiency is great, so let's see how it fares. Player four is no other than Sammy the EV Ninja that you will have seen on this channel already when he took his Ionic all the way from France to Morocco and back. And this time he's doing the same with the Kona EV, old version, and then he does it again with the EV6, meaning player 5 is again Sami on the EV6. Great cars, both of them very different with the charging speeds really in favor of the EV6. Let's see how the two are doing on this occasion. Now the players are ready, it's time to go. Right, the race has begun. It's pretty equal at the start. The Ionic 5 is driving at good speed on the motorway. We can in fact check the speeds, but it already had to stop, quick convenient stop, and it's actually the Kona new generation that is going ahead. In fact, quite a bit ahead, driving a really good speed on the motorway. You can see it hitting the 130 kilometers and good average there. But the Ionic 28 is not doing bad at all. In fact, it is on par with the Ionic 5 because it seems to be stopping just as much. Now, the Sami cars, but the red and the green cars are also doing pretty well at 160 to 170 kilometers already. Steady seems to be winning the race in that case. Now, the Kona is clearly ahead at 241 kilometers compared to less than 200 kilometers for most of the cars. And the Ionic 28 is stopping again, boost the new Kona and the Ionic 5 on 120 km an hour. The Ionic 5 and the 28 seem to be doing more or less the same stops. Now the Kona has finally been charging for about 30 minutes and that's north of Paris on the 90 stop. In fact, all the Ionics uh, seem to be uh, using the Ionity a lot. Now the Kona is still ahead at 290 kilometers, but the Ionic 5 is not far behind at 270 kilometers. It's stopping again. However, while the Kona is now continuing south of Paris, Paris into Burgundy and at this stage the Kona is miles ahead 340 kilometers now what we know about the older Kona and the EV6 is that well number one they went through Paris which can't be helping very much number two they were stopping to get some blah blah car so in other words taking on some passengers and dropping them I don't know where also they are not always using the motorway so of course that's gonna affect dramatically the speed of travel. Now at this stage let's make a pause because the reality of the Kona new generation, so the dark blue car, is that it was done in Burgundy for day one. So at that point in time it was clearly ahead 413 kilometers when all the others were in the kind of 300, 360 for the Ionic 5, which is all good. But the next day the Kona started again 
and in that case we gave it a one hour penalty the car didn't charge all that much it was about 25 percent when it arrived and it started again at 50 percent and you'll see it, it lose a little bit of time along the way so i decided that i would collate the two you can decide whether it's cheating or not but it was more fun to keep the race going between the ionic 5 the ionic 28 and the kona they're gonna go broadly in the same direction all right let's unpause the race now let's go the ionic 5 is now well ahead of the ionic 28 if you remember the ionic 28 also started with a few uh, kilometers in advance because it wasn't quite in cali at the start but it's quite interesting that yes the kona is now waiting because it is uh, waiting to restart but the ionic 28 is back on the ionic 5 it's ahead now i mean not technically on the distance 380 plays 394 now what about the old kona and the ev6 well you know of course the kona would be charging slower but both are really taking their time and they're not stopping much for charging it seems kind of a again a slow and steady wins the race um, now having said that the ev6 is probably charging now and uh, we will see whether using uh, whether using the motorway is going to make a big difference to it now the new kona in dark blue again is making its way but it's not taking the motorway because it's trying to go to the a6 which is it needs to cut through that kind of burgundy section so of course it's going to be losing time plus as you're going to see in a minute it's going to be stopping again because of course it restarted with that 50 percent so that's not helping in the meantime it seems that the ionic 5 had a very long lunch or a break or something like that maybe entertaining the kids and you can see it's quite a bit behind the ionic 28 so now the rest continues because on that day the ionic 28 in white was stuck on the plateau de Langres, and that was a pretty bad day very busy middle of the summer 40 minutes wait if i recall correctly and therefore the ionic 5 now is on its back it's coming back but again if we are to pause the race at that point in time what is happening well look on the right hand side more or less everyone has done about 500 kilometers or just shy of 500 kilometers between that time so when we synchronized everything we had them start at 6 in the morning all of them and it's now 1 p.m you can get a sense of how much distance has been covered and yes the average speed 68 kilometer per hour on all of them is not super impressive but guess what I think that's the reality of travel of course very sadly we didn't have a petrol car we've invited petrol cars to participate in that summer race but hey ho we've got what we've got it would have been fantastic to get those people who are really driving fast and making those big stretches to get to see the difference but i think here for now we have five different cars uh, kind of different habits different users and for now they are very similar but I'm probably prejudging. Let's press start again and see what happens. Right, so now the Ionic 5 is taking back time. As we said, the Ionic 28 is charging or waiting to charge, and that is taking quite a lot of time. This is queuing time in the summer, whereas the Ionic 5 didn't get any problem it's very late summer it is actually when the brits are on holiday but everyone has come back so the kona in the meantime is back on the motorway it's done its charges so it can cruise and you can see it's going at the 130 kilometers an hour it's not trying to make any prisoners there but nor is the ionic 5 and what is quite interesting is i think they're about to meet now they're about to rejoin on the same motorway whereas the ionic 28 it's on its back it's not far at all i mean a mighty performance from the ionic 28 now of course on that day we had only one objective in mind and that was to do the thousand kilometer and try to do a bit of the best we could and by the way it didn't work out so well check out the video again now the kona and the ionic 5 have done pretty much the exact same distance 646 kilometers 
they are almost fully in sync and simultaneously on the left hand side you can see that the EV6 and the old Kona they are doing they are doing the same they are not stopping very much a hundred minutes of stopping for both of them and taking it kind of at decent speed the 110 kilometers average drive only 90 kilometers per hour so probably using a lot more of the roads as well so completely different way but now look at the old new Kona new Kona and Ionic 5 are in the same stop they're in the same charging stop but the Ionic 5 restarts earlier of course if the only thing it has to do is to charge it's gonna be much faster whereas the Kona needs to take its time if I recall this one is actually a launch stop so it's gonna be taking time right and what do you see on the right hand side you see the Ionic 28 the Ionic 28 is almost making the same time as the Kona it's at 656 kilometers it's just 30 kilometers behind the new Kona so why buy those new cars maybe because they give a bit more comfort to be fair now the Ionic 5 is clearly ahead 753 kilometers but that plays the 760 kilometers of the EV6 extremely similar right you would have expected those two cars with the 800 volt to beat that race anytime but the reality again well there are many other parameters and the Kona and the Ionic 28 they're closing in now but I think that's because the Ionic 5 has now finished its race for the day it's taking a well-deserved rest in Lyon and it will restart tomorrow okay but the rest is not completely over yes the EV6 is ahead of the old Kona but you can see that new Kona and Ionic 28 they're almost at the same place you know okay well the new Kona has done 30 kilometers more but you know a really good performance from the Ionic 28 now in terms of convenience there is no question that it's a lot a lot easier to be in the Kona for those trips you decide when you stop you do longer stretches you can go at 130 kilometers an hour on those stretches of motorways you wouldn't be doing that with the Ionic 28 it's a bit of a waste of energy and you end up spending much more time charging right but you can see that now the Kona is well ahead for some reason there was uh, I don't think there was more queuing for the Ionic 28 but it was charging again when the Kona can again go straight into the mountains still in the mountains for now but certainly finishing that trip right so at this stage what can we conclude because yes the cars are still moving you can see the EV6 is now well ahead of old Kona and that should be expected you can see that it can now drive at 130 kilometers an hour uh, its average when driving is quite a bit higher now and the stop time is much lower than the old Kona all of that makes a lot of sense we're going to stop here and just check out the performance so the EV6 seems to have despite its kind of lower average when driving kind of won the race if phrase there was I mean the obvious comment here is that it's all horses for courses it's all completely different situation so I think what that gives us is a number of indications number one you can absolutely take the Nionic 28 if you're determined to go far with it you can absolutely do that now you need to be more of a ninja and it needs quite a lot more planning it needs to have the decent infrastructure but when it comes to having the 800 volt architecture I'm not sure it makes that much of a difference compared to old Kona or even new Kona because the reality is for those long trips if you've got people in the car a couple of adults and and definitely if you have the kids you're probably not going to see that much of a difference in a way the fact that it charges fast is kind of wasted because hey, people need to take their time as well right so this is nothing really new but I think that illustrates it hopefully that was a bit of fun let me know your comments and what you think of that of course you are very welcome to share your own data I would love to have more petrol cars next time I would like to do it again when we have more players as well keep in touch and thanks for watching goodbye for now